I'm Stoner. That's Harry. And this is Stoner's Stash Box. Uh, it's uh, cold, snowing, or snowy Sunday. Um, Chase stuff I got this weekend. I got three albums yesterday from uh, Find Me Now. It's the uh, store across the street. Uh, three really nice albums. Uh, and I went to Rizzo's this morning. Um, uh, wasn't feeling too good. Uh, I've got back problems and hernia problems and, I uh, wasn't feeling good and, uh, I get what I could and there's a couple things that's going back, two things that's going back. It's Mr. Rizzo, sorry, Mike, um, but it's my fault. I wasn't feeling good and I wasn't paying attention. And I got some stuff that I didn't know about. Anyway, that's my problem. It's not yours. What can I say? Uh, these three I got, uh, like I say, from uh, By Me Now, from the guy across the street. I bought from the guy before. Uh, he was having, having a sale on uh, DVDs this weekend. Uh, three for a buck. So I thought, man, what the heck? You know, I did my running around and stuff yesterday morning. And so, well... I'll go over and see what he's got. And it looked. Nothing really stood out. Uh, but and I asked him if he had any albums. Cause yeah, I got a little stack back here. And uh, get these three. Three colons. Uh, first one. James Taylor and the Flying Machine. 1967. Very early, early James Taylor. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. On uh, Euphoria Records. Cool label. I like the label, man. I haven't listened to it yet. Probably will, but. So. Second one. Uh, there's a lot of uh, talk going around about. Uh, the uh, Peter Jackson documentary, the Air documentary, and how everybody loves it. And actually, I found this. You have this. Let it be. I don't have this. It's a gatefold. Now, this is not a first issue, but this is around the time it was released. It wasn't a first issue. It's on the Red Apple label. It's dirty, but my little vinyl style will definitely take care of that. And this will be a couple scuffs, scratches, but um, it's good to be. How timely is that? Uh, and the last one I got from him is Diamond Dogs. Boy, I already have this. Um, but I just, I couldn't let this go. Um, it's on the Dynaflex, because the Dynaflex on it. It's not the Dyna Dynaflex. I've got one, um, uh, Bark by, uh, Jefferson Airplane. That's a real Dynaflex. That's a, oh, this, this is one of my favorite albums, my boy. It absolutely is. Uh, Future Legend, Diamond Dogs, Sweet Thing, Candidate, Sweet Thing, Reprise, Rebel Rebel, uh, Rock and Roll With Me, We Are The Dead. I love that song a lot. Uh, 1984, Big Brother, Chant of the Ever, Circling Skeletal Family. This is a great album. And this is the one with the genitalia gone. So, no extra bonus on that one, but... It's Bowie, man. You know, it's... To me, that's when he was at his height. This after... Lad Insane. Uh, he was still sort of in the... Uh, Ziggy Stardust mode. And it's... To me, it's, it's a great album. It's an absolutely great album. Anyway. Uh, this is stuff I got from Rizzo today. Uh, the first two were the $5 ones. Um... And the rest of the dollar. So, uh, you're going to get it. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. 
Ling wear on it, yeah. Well, if you want it nice and clean, you're gonna pay for it, man. So, you got the and it's split, which is no big deal. That's taken care by glue. So. I had this version way, 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 way back. Uh, actually, this is the first version that I ever had. Uh, Jimi Hendrix Experience Smash Hits. And this has this thing on it. But I didn't get the poster yet. Mike, Mr. Rizzo, says he has the poster. And I told him that I want the poster. He tries to refuse. Uh, which is the only reason why I actually would. Well, it's the main reason why he bought this. Because he said that he had the poster. Uh, I think he just has to bring it in, bring it in, but I want the poster, Mike. And I'm willing to pay for it. Simply because I used to have it. I used to have the poster hanging up on my wall in my bedroom. And it's, it's worth five bucks in itself, just for the album. But um, I definitely want the poster. Really bad. Just to say I have it again. Uh, I can't give you anything but love. Uh, this has Pearl Bailey, Rose Murphy, and Ivy Anderson. It's a compilation. Uh, this that this is not Pearl Bailey, man. Beautiful lady as she is. Both of them, this lady here and Pearl Bailey, but it's not Pearl Bailey. Uh, there's tape across this, tape across the bottom. Uh, I don't really care uh, because Pearl Bailey takes up the entire second side. Um, I have a certain, what do you say, affection, affection, not infection, but affection for Pearl Bailey. I just love her, love her voice. Uh, this is a classic, a jazz classic. Um, it's on Verve. It's, uh, Ella Fitzgerald, Louis Armstrong, Ella and Lewis. And there are... I can't remember everybody that's on here. I know Buddy Rich is on here playing. Um, Oscar Peterson is on here. Uh, Ray Brown is on here. This is... This has got to be a great, great album. 50s jazz. I, I guess that's all I can say. Uh, you know, I'm not big on jazz. I, um, I know some of the people uh, I've heard and people talk about jazz here on YouTube. Um, Buddy Ma, uh, not Buddy Ma, but Buddy um, Miles Davis. Excuse me. I'm not really with it today. <clears throat> Miles Davis. I've never heard anything by him. You know, it's. Just I just I haven't had the interest in it, so maybe one day. But uh but El Fitzgerald, Louis Armstrong, Pro Bailey, she was kinda jazzy, maybe. Um Billy Holiday, you know. Those are the ones that I really know. I'm inexperienced at jazz, I admit it. Whatever. One of Martin's last bands, first one from 1968, back up there, there you go. This is a Unipack, it's falling apart. This needs blue, that's all. I already got one of these, I got two. Uh, this is my first album by this, this band, I've seen them. I haven't have them before and I kind of passed on them because I'm not much into jazz fusion. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but Bebop Deluxe is kind of like a jazz fusion. Frog, maybe. I don't freaking know. Futurama. I don't know how good it is. I thought I'd, for a dollar, I'd, I'd pick it up and check them out. Uh, I like the cover, though. I like the jacket. That's what got my attention. But yeah, it's pretty cool looking. 
I don't know how it sounds yet, but we'll find out. Uh, Harry Sundown Outlaws. Nice southern rock band that I like a lot. Cool artwork. Um, Ventures. The Ventures, excuse me. More Golden Greats. Pretty cool. Big hole. That's kind of hard to see on this because there's a lot of detail on this. But they do things like, uh, let's see, A Taste of Honey, House of the Rising Sun, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, Love is Blue, Classical Gas, uh, Green Onions, uh, Turkey, Raunchy, Mission Impossible, Grazing in the Grass, and uh, Hawaii Five-0. I think I dig the jacket though, man. That's pretty cool. Very 68, very late 60s. Uh, speak, speaking of that time period, uh, Kenny Rogers, the first edition, Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. This is a big hit album for him uh, because there's, uh, you know, what I just mentioned, uh, Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. Uh, Ruben James, uh, me and Bobby McGee, and uh, another hit, uh, it's, uh, Listen to the Music. You get tracks on there. If you can see him. And uh, let's see. Last one that I'm keeping. Uh, Cat Stevens, Cat's Cradle. This is a Linden's Collector's Edition. It's very early material. This was a, an ex-library copy. That looks, doesn't look too bad, though. Dirty, you know, but, you know, they're all kind of dirty. They all got to be cleaned. Uh, now, for the things that I'm going to return, uh, and I, one of them I'm really bummed out about, about because um, it was hyped up, and um, I actually like this artist a lot. Um, there's 78, 78 RPMs, uh, Fat Waller's Favorites. A four disc set. Um, and then I opened it up and uh, this is a DECA with uh, Helen Forrest on it, which is not my man. Uh, there are four discs in here that belong in here that is actually, there are two, I apologize, there are two. See, I'm a little, a little upset. Uh, there are two in here on uh, R.C. Victor that is Fats Waller that goes with this. Uh, but there are two other ones that do not belong. Like I say, that uh, first one I showed you and the last one, which is on the Columbia label. If I can get it out of here. Which has Frank... Carl or Carol. I mean, they look great, but it's not what I was hoping to get. <coughs> so, this is going back. <coughs> I mean, it's, this the, the set looks great. I mean, you know, the 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 jacket looks fantastic, and. All the shellac on here looks fantastic. But it's not the whole package. It's only half the package. So, unfortunately, this is going back. I do have uh, the 7 inch EPs of this um, somewhere over here. So, probably back here. But it would be nice to have all this. But this is going to go back to Mr. Rizzo. Sorry, Mike. You didn't check either, so. And uh, lastly, I saw this. And I thought, cool, very cool. Mick Fleetwood, The Visitor. Let's see, it's a little Chinese ship of Africa. I thought this was going to be fantastic, man, fantastic. Maybe it'd be really cool. Yeah. 
And you're going to get the album out to, uh, to check the dead wax. This is Six Eye Columbia. It's a compilation of piano music. I mean, the vinyl looks fantastic. I mean, for 1955, that's what it's from. 1955. I mean, it looks great. But it's not Mick Fleetwood, the visitor. And it's not going to be in my library. It's going back to Mike Rizzo. And that's it, man. Uh, Saturday I did good. This Today I did not bad. Uh, a couple really nice albums. A few that's not too bad. And two that I don't want. It's going to go back. And that's it. So. This is Stoner. Here's Harry. See you guys next week. Bye.